Do you want my website? All right, Teamer Monsters. So we played a little bit of red green monsters. And one of the things that red green monster struggles with in this format is it doesn't have enough efficient cards for interacting with not only control but especially the nexus combo decks and another thing the monsters deck does on occasion is when you flood out and have a bunch of lands you don't really have a fantastic payoff for that so by adding blue we get hydrate crisis which is the best we flooded out payoff in the format and we also gain access to some of the gates in the sideboard to supplement our cinder vines against the the decks like control and like combo so let's, uh, let's go ahead and dive into some matches, see if we can uh, climb our way back up into, into the top 1,000 or so. Thanks everyone for out today, by the way. A little over 2,000 people. I appreciate everybody dropping in. Hope you're having a good Thursday. As a heads up, the first Mythic Championship is happening tomorrow. So I will not be streaming any Magic Arena tomorrow. I'm planning to do some Magic Online tomorrow morning with Legacy and Modern. But I will not be doing any Standard tomorrow. This hand obviously is a little bit land heavy, but turn three Phoenix on the play is hard to pass up. So I know this is going to sound weird saying it while I have a bunch of blue sources in my hand, but I don't think that we have enough blue sources to consistently play Biomancer Familiar early in this deck. Thanks, Torox. I appreciate that. It was the number the number of people who commented like, is Jeff not feeling well? Like while I was just like being focused and not like being on and entertaining. Like, yes, yesterday, my demeanor while playing, that was that was conversational, Jeff. That was if you came to my house for dinner or we met at a Grand Prix, like, that's how I talk. I, I, when I'm here for 8, 10, 12 hours, I project my voice and have a stage presence to keep my energy high. So that way I am marginally more entertaining, but also more importantly, energized so I can be on for the entire time. Jeff talking like a normal human being is a novelty. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Uh, I elected not to activate my growth chamber guardian there because I didn't want my opponent to be able to cast it down in response. I like the black white aristocrats deck a lot. The last build we played felt really good. Uh, looks like my opponent's playing Sultai. I think I'd like a Death Gorge Scavenger. The sideboard doesn't actually have that many cards for the Sultai matchup, but at the same time, I think our main deck's also pretty reasonable here. Might be, might be pretty reasonable here. I, I'm also like, for people who aren't familiar with stage presence, I'm not shouting while I work here throughout the day. If I was shouting for eight to 12 hours a day, I wouldn't have a voice. I am projecting my voice from my diaphragm. I don't think Crushing Canopy is very good in this matchup. They don't have enchantments that we care about. They have they have Thief of Sanity, but like I have four Lava Coils, Rekindling Phoenix, Hellkite, Vivian, Crisis. I have lots of ways to block their Thief. Yeah, I don't even know what I want to cut here, really. I like all my cards. Maybe Growth Chamber just gets gummed up too much. I'm gonna bring in the Shivan Fires because they do kill Thief, but they also like kill their Elves and stuff. Yeah, right, Zach? This is, this is my voice that I used to talk to a room with 35, 16 year olds in it when I would teach. You have to, you have to have a big voice to be over that sometimes. No, I don't. I don't think Rhythm's good in this matchup. I think I'd rather have all of my cards be have individual quality, whether rather than a card like Rhythm that's going to make my cards that are already good better. I 
Uh, I played against Mono... All right. I played against Mono Blue twice in the tournament yesterday. If you want to go back and check the YouTube archive, you can see how I sideboarded. <laughs> uh, I finished second yesterday. Second out of, I think we had 46 players. What did I learn from the tournament? I learned that I like playing competitive magic on occasion and standards a lot of fun. Stream Decker, I think, is updated. It is updated. And sweet. No, I think trying to attack people's mana bases is a bad use of your time. You should just play better cards and interact with the board. Yeah, that that's another takeaway. Competitive magic in a client where I don't have to worry that my opponents are cheating against me is so fantastic. Like, even, even competitive magic on Magic Online is better than paper, in my opinion. But, like, having it on Arena is just so unbelievably good. Yeah, I, I didn't play competitive magic for the social aspect. And I, and I know that there's a lot of people who do, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing that I got from playing competitive magic was the actual competition. That's, that's what I looked for when I was traveling to play in tournaments. You're more worried about cheap, cheap people cheating IRL than ghosting. Yeah, with a three minute delay, I'm not really worried about people ghosting me. I'm gonna exile my own land war elves here just to gain two. Try a different web browser, Horn. That dragon is real scary, especially when I'm missing my own land drops. Oh, we're dead. I think we're dead. Now, my opponent in the finals was playing very quickly. There's no, there's no way they had enough time to ghost. Give this a try. I think I want to just be able to kill their mana dorks. I have, every time I've tried to use Firefox in recent memory, I've been displeased and gone back to Chrome very quickly. I don't know. All, all modern web browsers are kind of a hog. Do I do use Chrome these days. What other streamers do I talk with, slash work with, slash collaborate with on ideas? I don't really. I, I BS with Caleb on occasion, and my buddy Matt, obviously, who just started streaming. Like, I work with him because he's a local guy, but... I mostly just do my own thing. This this shuffling deck is a testament to my sponsors. It's the BCW Elite Guard 2s are, are really good sleeves, especially they're good sleeves in general. And then when you factor in that they're only eight bucks for a hundred sleeves and you can get 10% off using my code, you'd be silly to use a different sleeve. Sores. Thanks, came for the Spanish Inquisition and came, stayed for the standard. Thanks for the entire year. I knight thee, defender of the realm, go forth and protect us from Twitch chat. Uh, they do offer mat on both sides. They offer the front of their they offer the front of their sleeve as both gloss and mat.
Tell me more about shaving and candy flavored protein bars. The Neo bars are great. I actually need to message them and have them send me more again. Dude Light, thank you for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. We might we might be dying to land drops here, which is probably a good thing. My opponent's still diamond, so. Hear more about the mattresses. Still sleeping with Lisa every night. She's wonderful. I'm good at what I do. My poor little elf. If I draw a land, we'll keep playing magic. Well, I mean, that could arguably be better than a land. Show me like a German racer. Okay, all right. So you're saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do -do 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 -do. Be -de 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 -de. My Lisa codes do still work. These, uh, these links should still should still be good for you. To you. Get a get a hundred dollars off one of their mattresses, and they have a ninety day guarantee. So if you if you buy it, and you don't like it, you can always return it and get your money back. Does Neo pay me exclusively in protein bars? They pay me in their Neo is one of my uh, flex rate. Uh, sponsors, which means the rate that they give me is dependent on how many protein bars I sell. Usually, a lot of a lot of sponsors come with a signing bonus and then a a referral fee based on how much how much uh, revenue I generate for them. Not all of them, but a lot of them are like that. Like that's why that's why I'm giving the incentive for people to check out Quip because they give me a kickback when people buy a toothbrush. Well, I mean, the second Lava Coil means I'm not dead yet. And then maybe this Hydrate Crasis can bridge us. If we draw, a, a, if we draw like a Basic or a Buddy Land next turn, we could Crasis for two and get back in this. Only here for the shilling. Thanks for the biddies, Filthy Hobbit. Yeah, sorry. I know the other people in the industry tell me I'm supposed to be very secretive about how my sponsorships work. But I, I believe in transparency. Yikes, Carnival Carnage probably means we're dead. Yeah, good game's opponent. Hopefully we get some land drops here. Speaking of shilling, thanks everyone for hanging out today. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full-time here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30, 40, 50 hours a week. Uh, if you enjoy my stuff, make sure you hit that follow button following the stream. doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when I go live and with what. Um, as always, a shout out to my wonderful subs. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their support. They're quite literally the folks that keep me employed. And of course, I'd like to mention some of my wonderful sponsors. The Nerd Rage Gaming Championship Series is a $5,000 tournament series that happens every single month in the Midwestern United States. I'm actually planning to go play the Teamer Climb deck from the Rivals Tournament yesterday in paper at their March tournament. I believe it's March 2nd. If you can't make it out to play in their tournaments or if you want to watch me play next month, be sure to check out twitch.tv forward slash NRG series for all their streaming coverage. Uh, BCW Supplies are the ones I was just talking about with these wonderful Elite Guard 2 sleeves. They also do binders, deck boxes, and all sorts of other fantastic stuff. And you can save 10% on your orders at BCW Supplies using code Jeff10. Neo provides wonderful candy-flavored protein bars using code Hoagland at bit.ly forward slash Hoagle Bars. You can save 10% on all of your orders there with them. And of course, I'd like to welcome everyone out there to Hoaglandia. I know there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now, and I appreciate you spending part of your part of your day here with us. Let's head on into the next one. Hey, thanks for the five months, Abel. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I enjoy having an idea how the business side of Twitch works. And after the wonderful Lisa's Ben, I'd buy a dictionary from you. <laughs> thanks, Witness. I thought you were pushing razors and toothbrushes because you were concerned about the overall hygiene of Magic Tournament. I really should go push for to find a deodorant sponsor. That's probably... I'm, I'm honestly genuinely surprised that some big deodorant company hasn't broken into advertising on Twitch. It really seems like a missed opportunity for them. Really, really seems like a missed opportunity. All right, so we mulliganed a little bit low here, but hopefully we're gonna draw two lands the next two turns and then be able to like curve, play this, activate this, play a baby crisis for two. All right, perfect. Uh, I decided to play the teamer deck over the Jeskai Agro deck because I enjoy playing the teamer deck more.
that gives away toothbrushes at granola bars. We we put um we put candy in in the Halloween basket every year, but for full disclosure, we do also usually put pencils and tattoos and stickers in there for for some some kids like their parents don't let them eat a lot of candy, so like it makes it makes it more accessible for everyone. Yeah, it seems like even though we mulliganed low here, we're in a pretty, pretty good spot. That, that's really good against us, huh? Yikes, does this deck actually, oh, I have cinder vines on the sideboard. Oh, this isn't a baby crisis, but it's still a 2-2. Oh no! Oh no! Poor little Land War Elves chat! He's just doing his best to get by in this cruel hard world. He's just he's just doing his darndest. Trying to survive. And an end. Thank you for the 11 month reset. I appreciate that. Welcome back. You know, maybe playing the Crisis was wrong and I was supposed to pop off Growth Chamber this turn. Just to like have a blocker on the ground. Yeah, Ethereal Absolution messes up Phoenix too. It messes up in two different ways, right? Like it kills the egg and it could exile it. I felt like we were going to be in an okay spot, but Absolution is definitely dumpstering us here. If you get below 90%, is that like the Ethereal Absolution bracket on Magic Arena? Is that is that how this works? We played, we played against Ethereal Absolution twice so far today since we dropped below 90%. I live in a fourth floor walk up with a security door. If the kids make it to my house to trick or treat, they're getting a can of Progresso soup because that's all I have in my pantry. <laughs> oh. Do you think someone who's sent blind would have an advantage at a major tournament? Almost certainly. Well, I've, as I've assembled the 2-2's greatest enemy, the 3-3. Three -three. So, I think things are looking okay from here. I think I'm actually going to kill their flyers and start attacking in the air here. Now, this is an unusual question, but before I head off for the day, would you mind if I post a link? Yeah, sure, Trex. It is... It is a... It is a sad reality that a lot of people in the United States use GoFundMe and services like it for healthcare. Hopefully, I hope we, I hope I live to get to a point where that's no longer the case. The animation on Dusk Roads on Dusk Roads is so fantastic. Sounds like communist propaganda, basically. Oh. 
Maybe I'm just supposed to Lava Coil this, this turn, rather than play a Crisis. Uh, my Shuffle deck is a Red-Green Madness deck that I built as a, as a teenager. So I don't want to play the Land War Elf out because it makes this bigger and it gives them a creature to exile with this. Otherwise, I probably would be cheeky and play it out, yeah. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, so not not exiling their Alendra really cost me there. And by cost me, I mean I drew a 3-3 with haste, so let's do it. Uh, madness is a mechanic that reminds you this is Sparta. Reminds you, reminds you where you're at. So, I'm not super excited to board in Cinder Vines here. Maybe Crushing Canopy is just better. They probably have like Seraph Angel in their deck. Do I cut these in the face of their in the face of their enchantment? I think I do. Negate's probably not terrible to bring in here. I'm gonna bring in one Cinder Vines as an extra way. They didn't use Absolution, because Absolution only exiles creatures to make tokens. I have a master's degree in mathematics. I taught high school math for a very short stint, and then I got a master's and was an adjunct at different at a couple different schools. Death Gorge Scavenger. That's interesting. It does protect from their absolution bags like our own things. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I had Vivian last game that could kill Absolution. That's another good thing to think about. God, why is Vivian so good? That card is great. Vivian, Vivian's also a disenchant. I got there eventually, okay? I'm I'm slow sometimes. How different is the salary of a teacher versus the Twitch streamer? Uh, this is a full-time job. Being, a, being an adjunct faculty member is never going to be a full-time job. There were, there, were, there were some schools that I taught at that paid as little as $1,200 per class per semester. And... And those schools paid me more for teaching math than they paid some people for, for like, English and other subjects. But again, like, as someone who tends to be educated and informs himself when he makes decisions, I wasn't teaching for the money. I was teaching because I enjoyed teaching. Like... Anyone, especially with a math degree, right? Like, if you, have the, if you have the capability to get a master's in math, you could probably get a job doing a few different things. If you're teaching, it's probably because you like teaching. Thoughts on the tokens matchup with Climb? It's probably not good for Climb. I think it's not as bad as the finals made it look yesterday, but the climb deck's definitely behind. Yesterday, my opponent's deck had good draws on the play, games one and three. And I don't think that deck ever beats their best draws. See, I actually, I actually greatly preferred teaching college kids to teaching high school kids. Although a big part of that is high school kids, you have to deal with their parents. And interacting with parents sucks. 
Why'd you, why'd you fail little Timmy? Well, you see, little Timmy failed little Timmy. You know how little Timmy tells you he does his homework? Little Timmy doesn't turn in homework. Timmy, Timmy is a liar. I mean, little Timmy's not usually dumb. Most kids who put off their schoolwork never use retarded as an insult in my chat. You've been given a 10 minute break. If you come back and do it again, you'll be permanently banned. A lot of, a lot of kids just are lazy or don't see, don't understand the value in putting effort in. you know make a night token destroy a thing got it i've seen things that would break someone like you fun fun fact i failed freshman algebra in high school do you know why i failed freshman algebra in high school because i played 60 hours of counter strike a week that's why i failed freshman algebra Again. I'm sure I'm sure many of you can relate to that, but that's the only only 60 hours. I know, I know they're weak numbers. I'm I'm I just like I'm trying to live with myself with my numbers being bad, but it is it's where it's where I'm at, okay? Those are those are rookie numbers. Gotta pump them up. I agree. I agree. Miss Lethal, yeah, probably. Yeah, I could have lava coiled and killed them, right? Chat, this is a no justice stream. We were talking about Counter Strike. There were things. There were way more important things than magic going on. I was talking about Counter Strike. We, um, we actually played a lot of Counter-Strike Source. We played, we played a lot of Source. Don't, don't hate me, SCTR. That was the one we played growing up. I actually, I think, um, I think there's actually a page, what was it, we ran... Does this thing still exist? God, this website still exists. Maybe, is it loading? I spent, Counter-Strike's actually where I got my start doing, or sparked my interest in software. I ran a Counter-Strike source server with some friends, and uh, we, 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 we wrote a bunch of Python scripts to mod stuff. Yeah, gun game, gun game type stuff. We had a uh, we had a Dungeons and Dragons mod that we that we wrote that we played. It's actually kind of funny because like the Dungeons and Dragons style mod is very similar to like what Overwatch is today. Like you basically you basically people played as different classes and had different abilities. It's actually like like thinking about it, it's actually like directly a precursor to like what Overwatch is today. And those those style of games. Different different amounts of like invisibility, or you could run faster, or jump jump point to point. Jeff should sue Overwatch. Yeah, Team Fortress 2, that style of game. Land. 
I mean that I, that's like almost to land I only said Overwatch because that's the most recent game I've played like that. I know there's Team Fortress and a bunch of other ones like that, but the only the only one of those that's installed on my computer currently is Overwatch. Although I haven't played that since the they added the cowgirl character. Work's just been crazy. Arena's exploded, chat, since this latest set thing's been real popular. I think the Gates deck is great. I think it's a lot of fun. What does this deck do that team or climb can't? This deck is a more of a ramp deck than the climb deck. Less less aggressive, more mid-rangey go over the top. This is like double double carnival, my growth chamber guardian. This is a really weird line. I feel like they should just kill my elf after I missed a land drop. I feel like killing this rather than my elf is real loose. Hopefully we draw a land and they just like run away with the game with Via Vivian. Perfect. They added new maps too, sweet. Um, I'm gonna plus her here because I don't wanna, so I guess, I guess I could read that they don't have shock, right? Cause if they had shock, they would have shocked my thing. So let's shoot. Let's shoot this. Restoration let's lava restoration. coil this. Let's play growth chamber guardian and attack for one. Thanks, freak. I appreciate that. Really glad that got used there instead of on my Phoenix. You can't stop me. Oh, have you heard about my worm? I said a whoa, whoa, worm. Whoa, worm's the word. I said a worm. God, I love this animation. It's so good. I, I love the worm animation. I'm almost out of cereal, chat. It's very, it's very sad. Where am I gonna get sugar now? I will defend my the choices you make reveal who The choices we make reveal who we are. You're so, you're so deep. You're so deep, Karn. No one knows the wilds like I do. We did not end up slime comboing anyone, unfortunately. All right, Karn, what about my choices to kill you after one activation? I have let my friends down. You, you've let a lot of people down, Karn. A lot of, lot of hasty four power creatures over here. Need a serial sponsorship quick. I think we cut elves against the chain whirler mid-range decks. Ship and fire and scavenger seem fine here. Maybe negate is fine. <laughs> to be fair, there were some months in 2015 and 2016 when Matt and I were traveling a bunch that I think Matt and I shared a bed almost as many nights in a month that Christy and I did. We did we did some crazy travel weekends. I don't know why my wife put up with me. We we traveled like 30, 35 weekends a year at some point. I'm just gone every weekend. She does, she does love me. For some, for some reason that I can't figure out, she does. God bless her.
How dead is my growth chamber guardian? You know, I think I'm actually just gonna trade here. The rest of my hand is pretty stacked. And I just, I feel like the way we lose this matchup is by falling behind. I'm like taking too much damage early. I think as the game goes long, we're favored because our deck has Hydra increases in it. So I just want to like do everything possible to preserve myself to get to the point where we can be casting priestesses and dragons. I think the Gates deck is sweet. You can find my preferred version of Gates on my website under standard decks. I forgot about the read command. I think that got made when we were playing, we were playing Jund in Modern. Thanks, Steven. You can find my website by using the website link directly above your message in chat that I typed into chat so you could see it. I think I'm just cashing in the Jade Light Ranger as a game three this turn. Brady. Um, huh. Well, I guess we just shoot this. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, maybe, maybe they just don't have anything else to do, Burgle. If they don't have a burn spell, they can't really attack, right? gonna go ahead and play a second dragon here. So I want to respond to this trigger by killing the Siege Gang in case their last card is a land. Hey, what's going on, Magic Sausage Cat? The horse icon is, does, did turn out pretty well. Do, 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 do. This feels pretty reasonable. I like, I like the small blue splash in monsters. I think I'm gonna change, I've had green red monsters on my website. I think I'm gonna change the green red monsters to teamer. I feel like the blue splash is pretty free and it adds power level to the deck. Rymal, thanks for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here this month. Yeah, the higher the percentage, the better your rank is, Boneless. Uh, yeah, Prime, Prime does not auto-renew as a heads-up. You have to manually check that one in every month. Percentage, percentage means you have a low rank, boneless. So if you're under rank 1000, you get a percentage instead. You get a rare wild card every six boosters. I think I'm gonna bin that. Just looking for a payoff at this point. Next turn I can I can pop this off into a uh, into a three five. Well 
things that are punishing for 100. Yikes. Hey, the Iron Druid with the Prime Support. Thanks for cashing in your Bezo Bucks this month. I appreciate it. This finality? Is it like land finality? What a weird sequence. Looks like we're dead because we lack spells, but... Maybe they just clicked into combat by mistake? Yeah, they probably missed that adapt could happen is probably what, what it was. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I agree, Burgle. Bringing in the Shivan Fires because it kills Ooze. Turning turning their Ooze into a 5-mana 2-2 two -two sounds great. I'm gonna keep this hand. Obviously, I need to draw some green sources, but like double rekindling Phoenix is very, is very good here. Yeah, I like, I really like how they set up the arena changes for, for competitive play moving forward. We talked a little bit earlier today. I am not a fan that they're requiring 200 Planeswalker points to play in paper PTQs, but they got the digital part right at least. So I guess we'll give them that. It, and it sounds like, we don't have all the details yet, but it sounds like the top 1000 Saturday tournament is, um, is gonna be an asynchronous tournament, which sounds awesome. Planeswalker points are things that you get for playing Paper Magic. So Treble, thanks for the Prime support, welcome. Basically, if you're someone like me who only plays digital, you can't just buy a deck and go play a Paper PTQ because you won't have Planeswalker points. It's really, it's really awkward. Asynchronous means that you play your matches at your leisure over a given time period. It's not waiting for Swiss rounds to... It's not waiting for Swiss rounds to complete. So basically they'd be like, okay, you have 12 hours to play your, your matches today and you play your X amount of matches and you get to so many wins or so many losses before you're done playing. No, there's seasonal Planeswalker points. You need like some, some number of points per season. To give you an idea of why asynchronous is better, especially for content than Swiss rounds, I streamed for seven hours yesterday. When I cut the matches up and put just the matches on my YouTube channel, there was only um, there was only two and a half hours of content. A seven seven hour tournament I played two and a half hours of magic which is like not a very good rate entertainment rate yeah go to dailymtg.com if you want if you want written down information of what I'm talking about The 
wrath of Scala. Yeah, you're not you're not wrong. We had we had a my average concurrent viewers through seven hours yesterday was over two thousand, which is still a little bit above my average. My average is about eighteen hundred or so once you balance it out with some of my low points. So like my viewer numbers were good even with the downtime. I I am going to be incredibly disappointed and I'm going to give them some of that feedback they don't like on Twitter this weekend if there are not time shifted feature matches at the Mythic Championship. There is there have never been time shifted feature matches at a Pro Tour in the past and it is unreal stupid that they haven't invested in that. What's my favorite thing I've ever programmed? Huh. That's that's a good question. I had, I, I have an answer. I had a stats tool that I wrote in Qt and Python that you pasted your Planeswalker point history into and it gave you statistical analysis of the matches that you played. So you, you did this awkward copy and paste from the wizard's website and it, it showed you like, you could look up your win rate based on opponent or based on all these other different things by format, stuff like that. I don't think it works anymore because their websites changed, but that was that was one of my favorite things I've written. They have a lot of mana. So I can't play a Phoenix this turn because this is currently coming into play tapped. So I'm gonna go ahead and Jade Light Ranger dig for a shock land here. That is not a shock land. That is also not a shock land. They, they are really going to run away if they just start slamming Krasis. I think the token deck is sweet. I think it's probably going to struggle a little bit against the Chain Whirler mid-range decks, like the red mid-range decks that we saw yesterday, but against the generic field, it's probably very reasonable. I agree. Time shifting should be something that they do. I don't know. I don't know how easy or hard it is to do. It's, it's certainly more work and more money to do. But in my opinion, time shifted feature matches add so much value to coverage. It's a big miss not having them. Yeah, the Mythic Championship is this weekend. Yikes. I guess. I guess it's almost good for me in a way that they're burning this before I get to Phoenix or Crisis here. So, because they showed us ooze on top of their deck, I'm actually going to Crisis this turn so I can try and dig to a removal spell. Because the, the Crisis needs to die, or the ooze needs to die ASAP. Look at that! I love me a big angry worm. I prefer the black-white splash for Aristocrats at the moment, yes. I'm going to trade with the Jade Light Ranger here. I know this block is free, but my opponent's deck plays Find Finality, and I'd much rather they don't find back the Hostage Taker. I did a double take there. I was like, wait, where'd the Jade Light Ranger go? It was my Jade Light Ranger. I was like, where, where'd the thing, the thing did the... Yeah, I agree. The, I, I watched a lot of the Rivals content in between and I was super happy. They did, they did an excellent job with the coverage yesterday. They do have a memorial in play, that's true. Yeah, I'm, act I'm actually probably just in a lot of trouble here. Just because they can memorial and play this back out again next turn, right? I guess the upside is next turn I can go 8th Mana Source, double Rekindling Phoenix, and maybe race them in the air. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do my best to be in the top 1,000 SCTR. Being being in the top 1,000 is like a reasonable thing. We'll still play most of the de de deck submissions on the ladder, I think, and be able to do that. 
Like, like things like this are still very reasonable to top, top whatever. No one knows the wild was. Thrilled there. Mystic only comes in against the decks with count against control decks and Nexus decks. Just gonna be a crisis for four. Yeah, if, I, if I'm just even a little bit selective about which decks I'm willing to play on the on the ladder, well, we should be top 1,000, no problem. And the extra, and the other ones, I'm still gonna accept janky things to play on stream. They're just not gonna get played on the ladder. They're gonna get played in the unranked queue. No, you have to be top 1,000 at the end of the season. I really like the laid back set on the couch commentary. You the only disappointing thing about, yes, that, I... I try not to harp on the music thing because I don't like to lay into other content creators, but it was incredibly awkward that I had to mute my restream at one point because the main channel was casting people using music that you needed special rights to use, and I didn't want my VODs to get muted for having that music be recast on my channel. So that, that was incredibly awkward. In fact, I'm going to make a note. They asked for feedback. I'm going to send that as feedback. I didn't... I forgot to send that yesterday. Yeah, an observer interface for Arena would be ideal for sure. I think Sultai's doing what Sultai does best here, which is going way over the top of anything we can do. Which is a touch unfortunate. So, uh, if I spend five on this and shock in this land, I can play the Ravager Worm this turn. I mean, swearing is whatever. Like, if you want, if you want to swear on stream, I don't have a problem with that. It's just like music that breaks your Twitch partner agreement is not something that I would I would prefer to have on the official thing. I'm gonna get super punished by a removal spell here. Yeah, I deserve that. It was broadcast on the official Twitch Rivals channel. I think we're just done here. They just have too much going on. Yeah, like this just lets the memorial folly back the other thing. You just you can't get into the grindy mid-range portion against Sultai and expect to win most of the time. It's just not not gonna end up being a good time. Oop. A chunk a chunk of sub gifts must have fallen off today. Yeah, I agree, KZPS. I think I think that's actually a good a good reflection um, that having a a non magic person there to help relate the magic stuff to people who aren't intimately familiar with it helps the coverage overall. <laughs> Sounds good, STTR. Uh, I'd love to have that, but I just don't have a green source. Perfect. Just like we drew it up. I mean, to set a bar that's low, I do think I look better with pink hair than I looked with my normal hair. But, like, improving my appearance from what it was previous, that, that is a pretty low bar. This is the awkward part. This is the awkward part about having interaction like this in our main deck. It looks like we're playing against the Nexus of Fate deck here, and our Lava Coils basically just don't have text.
Does Christy still get impressed by the stupid stuff we make you do for money? I don't think her opinion of my job being silly has gone down with time. Uh, the announcement from yesterday is that people who finish in the top 1,000 of the arena ladder moving forward... Uh, sounds like the audio is bugging out. Let me restart real quick. People who finish in the top 1,000 of the arena ladder starting next month, I believe, will get to play in a weekend tournament. And then that tournament feeds into a second tournament. And then the people that do well in the second tournament get to play in a huge tournament for lots of money. And they, they explained all of this in good detail on Daily MTG and in a YouTube video. My, my conversations with Christy are basically, they want me to do this, this, this thing. This is the amount of money that the goal, the goal would be. Or if I was to do this, how much money would you want? And then I set a goal. <laughs> I think this is a matchup where Crisis comes out just because we're not grinding card advantage in this matchup. It's really not that confusing. Go to their website, look at, the, it's all It's all written down. When I just like throw pieces at you without having charts or it written down, I'm sure it's confusing. But if you, if you look at the YouTube video, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little crass here. If you look at the YouTube video and you still find it confusing and you read it and you still find it confusing, top 1000 is probably unrealistic for you. So, you know, doing yourself a favor. <laughs> this hand's very good. We have Incubation Druid on the play. <laughs> Thanks for the gifties, SCTR. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good one. For that honesty. <laughs> Do Mythic ranks decay over time? I don't actually know if they decay or if you just go down when people pass you. That's a good question that I would that I would like to know the answer to, honestly. All right, here there be dragons. Just stole all my happiness. If you... Shovels get digging. I think I'm just gonna keep jamming Hellkites here, just like trying to race. I don't have any Cinder Vines or Negates in this hand, so just like racing them is the only thing I can really do. And like, we did board in interaction post board, but like, just keeping an aggressive hand like this I think is reasonable, especially on the play. Thanks, Green Dude, I appreciate it. You knew what you were doing, Blitzball. You, you knew what you were doing. Thanks for the Twitch Prime Green, dude. I appreciate it. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. This is the part where we sit here and spin our tires. exciting for newer magic players stone rain is the name of a magic card that destroys target land so ravager worm attacking here isn't really meaningful but destroying their land very meaningful All right, 
And this is the exciting part where we might not get another turn. Yay, magic! If we get a turn, we're gonna be in a pretty good spot, but that might not happen. Please cast the chemistry's inside. All right, sweet. They do not have mana to cast Nexus here, which is great. Down tick my Vivian. That can't help you now. Da -da 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 -da. I'm playing Ravager Worm here, so this way, in case they have a way to destroy my Hellkite, they are still they are still dead. They have Root Snare, sure. This is all I can do. Interacted twice, open for the next one. This monster's deck seemed pretty sweet. I've liked uh, liked what it has going on. I think I think I like this better than straight green red monsters. Sweet. All right. I think I'm happy with how I boarded. I'm like looking at this rhythm of the wild, thinking about it. Is are two of these better than Jade Light? Like they have Sinister Sabotage, and they often excuse me, they often have a copy of the card Frilled Mystic. You got a crisis for another worm. That doesn't seem unreasonable. I don't hate that. Worm, worm's really good and crisis is only great when you're like really late. Yeah, I, I agree. I probably want as many early beaters as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run it back. Raymond, thanks for the four month three sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Oh, magic. All right. This hand's actually very good if we draw a couple of lands here. There are four Cinder Vines in our deck. They are currently in our deck because we are playing against a matchup where it's good. Have a good one, Pinky. I think most green red decks in this format should start with four Cinder Vines. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a turn with their Search for Azkanta here so I can play the next Cinder Vines out next turn, I think. It's actually possible that with double cinder vines, I just never blow them up and like just let them burn them out. Yeah, it doesn't seem unreasonable, Johnny. I wouldn't hate more counter spells. A couple of disdainful strokes. Land, please. Land, please. Well, I mean, that's like a sadness land. Hey, CNX Miss, thanks for the prime support. I appreciate you shipping your Bezo bucks this way this month. Thanks for keeping me employed. Keeping them off of Azkanta is just too slow in narrow tracks. Teamer is magic shorthand for blue, red, green, blue. All of the all of the three color combinations in magic have shorthand. So I think with this rekindling Phoenix, I don't have a blue source. I was gonna say I just want to hold the gate up here now, but actually I'm lacking a blue source. Oh yeah. Inject the cinder vines directly into my veins, chat. Nah, I think they would call tracks. I think they were in a position to call there. Although I guess if they call, I'm okay with that. If they call and have a bounce spell, I'm not though. I guess calling it calling it shorthand is incorrect. Jargon jargon is the correct term. I mean, 
Is it... I think I want to just hold up Cinder Vine activations now. So that way if they go to bounce it, I kill their enchantment in response. I also, if they start... If they, like, fill their graveyard up here, I want to kill Sir Trezganta before it flips, probably. This puts their fifth card in the bin here. The U in rug stands for blue because B already represents black. And this is this is a great example of why I wanted to leave up Cindervine activations here. So they went to blink my Cindervines and then I activated it and shot them for damage in response. They also don't get to draw a card now. And so like I have pressure in play here. And this is, people often talk about Cindervines not being enough in this matchup. While Cindervines doesn't single-handedly win the game, Cindervines in conjunction with pressure often does enough to, to keep you happy with things. This attack probably means they're about to take an extra turn. Which is fine. You get you get seven spells. Enjoy them. Actually, less than seven spells, because eventually I'm gonna cinder vines and kill them. Magic related links are always welcome in chat. All right, they get uh, they get what three more spells here? Because remember, the Cinder Vines deals two to them. When uh when it pops off, they have a blink here. They have a second blink. All right. Well, we might we might not get another turn here. We did we did stumble on lands, so they only have two cards left, and they don't have a wilderness reclamation anymore. So maybe we have a shot, but definitely not in a good spot at the moment. Yep, second reclamation into uh, into chemisters and to take some turns. They don't they don't have a search for Ascanta going, so maybe we're good. They don't have a Nexus here or a Fog. They are dead. They don't have a Nexus because they didn't attack with Graces. Hit it on the Opt. Yep. And again, like, they are just kind of spinning their tires right now. Without an Arc in play or a Search for Azkanta, they're not, they're not making headway just yet. So they must have drawn another land here or they already hit Nexus. Probably just drew another land, if I had to imagine. Incubation Druid. Interesting. Are you dead yet? Nope. Not yet. They attack, so that means they're taking a turn. Or they have a fog. One of the two. Yep. Blue source. Blue source. Alright. Well, I just need them to brick for a turn. They, if they don't kill us next turn, I have a 5-5 five five that activates and kills them. So, brick, brick, brick. Oh, uh, they drew a draw to you. Come on, come on, brick, 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 brick. Brick by glorious brick. Brick by glorious brick. They, they upkeep fog so I couldn't draw a blue source to cast a counter spell. Aha, victory. And we're going to play one more with this. This build feels pretty good. I'm going to push a couple of things around. I like some of the things Johnny Boy came in and suggested in chat. I like a couple of the things Johnny Boy had suggested in chat. I like I like going 3-3 three, three on Crisis Worm. I like cutting this for an Incubation Druid. An incubation Druid is great. 
like getting rid of these. I like a couple of strokes in the sideboard. I just grab the last ship and fire. Whoop. Whoop. My word said one thing, but my hands did another, chat. I apologize. Good catch. All right, let's do it. One more with Teamer Monsters, then we'll roll right along to uh, blue-green taking turns. There were still a couple of Nexus decks that slipped in the queue before I started rejecting them. We're on the draw. All right, let's do it. Ding, ding, ding. Never didn't have it. Are we getting a Ravager Worm plushie for Declan? That's a great idea. That is a wonderful idea. Guildgate. Where this matchup goes. Come eat pizza with that Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for cashing in your Bezo Bucks this way this month. Nexus is only banned in best of one. Hopefully fully banned after the Pro Tour this weekend. I agree. Soon, soon to be everywhere, hopefully. Gates of Blaze would be real annoying for us here. Yeah, I, I don't think the Nexus decks are actually that powerful and they make for tedious content. So I'm actually gonna play this out as a baby crisis two 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 baby crisis two 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 baby crisis two two because crisis helps us at a land drop, which is better for us in the event of a gates of blaze next turn. PT London, PT Cleveland, destination location Cleveland USA for the Mythic Championship this weekend. It's a Mythic Championship, folks. The Pro Tour is dead. Long live the Mythic Championship. All you, all you old timers out there. Embrace, embrace the change. Yeah, they re they rebranded the Pro Tour to the Mythic Championship. Where's the rare? I feel like they really missed a branding opportunity to call the Grand Prix Rare Championship to like go with their the rarities of their cards. All right, driving in my worm beep beep. Could I submit you playing a deck of your choice in best of one? Nah, nah, I'm not really a big best of one fan. Even, even without Nexus. FNMs are bronze. Yeah, we could have, we could have gone, gone the whole rarity, really. Common, common tournaments. Yeah, you common, uncommon, rare, rare mythic. God, we're one short. Who's ready to get? Who's ready to have our gates get ablazed? CG rebrands as the foil tour. This was this was a good line on my opponent's part to play out a two two priest this year, so they didn't die to a riot creature like this. But I played this game pretty well. They use their health total as a reasonable resource. My dragon dead. Where's where's my dragon at? Scale of one to dead. I worked so hard to be aggressive, opponent. I worked so hard to be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive.
Headed out to exotic Cleveland to play in my first not pro tour. Good luck this weekend, mage. Thanks for the 15 months. Stop it! I don't want to play magic anymore. I'm taking my toys and I'm going home. Taking my toys and I'm going home. It's not your ball, it's my ball. Give it back. All right, so negates and the scene full stroke seem pretty reasonable here. Uh, I just leave in a couple of creases, probably. Thanks, Mordo. Hey, Blitz Balls. Thanks so much for Prime Support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Kaya has actually started seeing some play inside of Esper Control. Because Kaya is very reasonable against both the Drake stack and Mono Blue Aggro. Well, thanks for re upping, Blitzball. Don't I want Cinder Vines over the Worms? Nah, Cinder Vines doesn't trigger that often in this matchup, I don't think. And Worm is basically a 4 4 with Haste, which I think is reasonable. Man, the magic numbers on Twitch are insane today after Rivals yesterday. Nox is at like almost 5k right now and 20, 2400 is high for me. Thanks everybody for being here. Hope you're having a good Thursday wherever you're at. It's so fantastic. Magic has a sweet digital client. Nah, it's about the same, Davis. It's like six in one hand, half dozen in the other. I'd rather just take their thing out of play. How did Twitch Rivals go? I finished second, which was sweet. Coral, thank you for the very generous tier three sub. I really appreciate that. Be sure to uh, drop a submission in the deck form on my website for what you'd like to see, see added. Or if there's a deck already in the queue you'd like to bump up, just drop me a DM and I'd be happy to do that. Driving in my worm. <laughs> Uh. It wasn't any other Magic Tournament. It was more than a Grand Prix. So Pro Tours do get higher than that. The, the Mythic Invitational at the end of March will hopefully have good viewership. Hopefully the format of the Mythic Invitational doesn't hurt viewership. The, the format of the Invitational being weird could maybe hurt it. Now, I think I just had kind of a hard matchup gimp, and my opponent had good draws in addition to having a good matchup. I have started saying driving in my ex beep beep IRL, and it confuses my wife to no end. God bless. How I bridge without damaging the cards. Oh, I'm sure my cards are damaged. Yeah, if you... I don't actually have a large webcam here. If you look, there's little, there's little white lines at the back in the middle. Bridging, bridging damage is magic cards. It's just how it works. You know, if you don't want your cards shuffled, don't show up to a tournament with them. <laughs> that is a what a what a what a fitting card for this stream. That is, uh, that's a copy of Narcissism. <laughs> hey, Skeptical Kevin, thanks for the five month reset. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's draw, let's draw a riot creature, shall we?
Narcissist extraordinaire. Untapped land. Angel gain eight. Is there is there flavor text on that card? I don't actually know offhand. I feel like I should know that. No, there's no flavor text on it. <laughs> Mercy! Mercy! The Gates deck is very good. It is a very real competitive deck. I would not be surprised if we see a Gates deck or two do well the at the Mythic Invitational this weekend, or the Mythic Championship this weekend, whatever, whatever these things are called. Does anybody have any idea what these things are called? I, I don't really. As far as Teamer Monsters is concerned, I think I'm going to be updating the Green Red Monsters deck on my website to be something closer to this. I think, I feel like the mana base is good enough in this format right now that splashing a couple of blue cards in our top end is very, very reasonable. And it adds power level and value to the archetype. Just like when we have all these mana creatures and land, having this X spell to draw into is super potent. Um, we also have um, counter spells out of the sideboard to make matches like Nexus of Fate much better for you. So I think that does not seems seems pretty, pretty reasonable.